Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Foxeer Mini F722 V2 20x20mm flight controller. In this video I'm going to go over its features and specs and in addition announce the winner of the recent Foxeer flight controller giveaway. In terms of packaging, just like the full-sized version, the Mini F722 V2 flight controller comes inside a small box and inside along with the flight controller you can find four M3 rubber grommets for soft mounting the flight controller. In terms of specs, the Mini F722 V2 flight controller is using 20x20mm M3 mounting holes. Its outer dimensions are 26x26x6mm and it weighs 4.2 grams. In addition, it features an F7 processor, an MPU6000 gyro chip, four free UART ports, a 5V 2A BSC, a dedicated camera control pad, a physical and robust boot button, it supports a DC input voltage is between 6.5 to 30 volts, so you can safely power it directly with 6S batteries. Most of the pads can be found both on the top side and on the bottom of the flight controller, and on the other side of the 8 pins JST connector, which is used for connecting the flight controller with a 4 in 1 ESC, you can find matching pads, so in case the JST connector breaks, you can simply use them. So overall, the Foxeer Mini F722 V2 flight controller is equipped with most of the features of the full-size version. However, you should keep in mind that you will have less UART ports, even though in my opinion 4 is more than enough. And in addition, unlike the full-size version, which features a 9V BC, which is great for DJI Air Unit builds, the Mini version doesn't have one, so you'll have to either use a 5V VTX or power it directly from the battery pads. That brings me to the recent Foxeer flight controller giveaway, where in order to participate I requested you to list the most important aspects for you when picking up a flight controller. First of all, I would like to thank everybody who shared their input, and according to you, the most important aspects are having a 9V regulator, lots of free UART ports, having an F7 processor, high quality PCB and soldering pads, the price is of course an issue, the flight controller should have soldering pads in addition to JST connectors, the soldering pads should be accessible both from the top and the bottom side of the flight controller. A couple of you mentioned the VTX power switch option. The layout of the flight controller should be organized and well documented. And finally, some of you are concerned with the manufacturer's support and warranty. I agree with most of your feedback, and I would like to add that in my opinion it's very important to have well separated soldering pads and a robust micro USB connector, which is not going to break easily. Now I'm going to randomly select a subscriber, who of course participated in the last Foxeer flight controller giveaway, and the winner is going to win either the full-sized or mini-sized flight controller, according to his choice. In order to select the winner, I am going to use the YouTube random comment picker tool, and I'm going to pick two winners, the first one is going to be the big winner, and the second one is going to be the runner-up, who is going to win the prize in case the first winner is not going to show up until the end of this month. The total amount of unique commenters is 160, and the big winner who won the Foxeer F722 V2 flight controller is Nabi FPV, who commented that I think that many UARTs are important, especially if you run smart audio or our SAR receiver, which takes up to two UARTs. I'm just going to make sure that Nabi FPV is subscribed to my channel publicly. And as you can see, he is. So congratulations buddy, you just won the Foxeer F722 V2 flight controller, and in case Nabi FPV is not going to show up, I'm going to pick another winner as a backup, and the runner-up is... Tantrum FPV, who commented, important to be able to turn the VTX off on the switch. I'm going to make sure that Tantrum FPV is also publicly subscribed to my channel, so you can be the runner-up. And as you can see, Tantrum FPV is publicly subscribed to my channel as well. I am going to include my email address in the description box of this video, so please both of you guys send me an email, and I'm going to take care of the rest. The flight controller is going to be directly sent to the winner by Foxeer who kindly sponsored this giveaway, and I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that I'm not responsible in any way for the prize that you are winning, so for example, if the package got lost on the way, there's not much that I can do, I will do however, whatever I can in order to help you out, but I can't take responsibility for the items that you win. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful. If you have any questions about the Foxeer F722 Mini flight controller, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, 
and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.